beautiful, intelligent, confident, independent, talented, talented, well equipped. It don't matter what you be. The best thing that I can be is me. I know who I am. Who I am. Shani Echo and I'm back with another video. Today we are doing this. This is what you call feeding ponytail uh, bohemian birdies. You feel me? <laughs> so if that's something you would like to see. Make sure you continue watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And feel free to follow my model. I will have her in this link description box below. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so you're going to need some braiding here. I have the pre-stretch free tress, 30 inch. And then I have the easy braid in the 18 inch, the black hair. And I have human hair, deep wave, ombre, in color 27. I have nail glue, edge control, clips, scissors and of course you're gonna need a comb and my handy daddy braiding rack so I'm gonna separate the pieces I use the black hair to uh, make the roots black and then the ombre hair for the ends so I'm gonna do four sections I'm doing this as a beginner friendly tutorial and even if it's you're not a beginner it's better to just pre part it's better to just pre part out everything so everything is symmetrical Versus, you know, freehanding it and you're new and then you got some braids bigger than others. You don't want to do that. So just go ahead and pre-part everything. I'm going to part it into four sections overall. And then each section is going to be parted into three triangular type parts. So I'm just going to do that over the entire head. Separate them so that the parts are clean by, you know, some loose, messy French braids. And um, yeah, just do that to the whole head. Voila, voila, voila. So you should have 12 braids in total. Now I'm going in and with each triangular sections, I'm going in and parting zigzag. Parting zigzag is going to create those triangles. Similar to the triangle box braids. Um, if you haven't seen that tutorial, I will go ahead and have it pop up for you right here. But yes, so determine which side you want your triangles on. And then individually, you put a little edge control there and you're going to make some individual braids. This part does not require you to add any hair to it. And I like to make sure that my braid is based in the middle of the triangle. And I just pretty much do this throughout the entire um, head, this process, um, per triangle though. And I just braid it down enough for it to go into the braid. You don't have to braid it down all the way because then you don't want another braid showing through that bigger braid that it's going to be connected to so you just braid it down enough for it to meet the braid that it's going into now i'm taking that edge control sleeking it going in with the comb to smooth it out and then i'm going to start my feed-in braids this is not a tutorial on how to do feed-in braids I will do a detailed tutorial on um, how to do that, but you do need prior knowledge of feed-in braids if you're trying to duplicate this. Hey Siri, what's the definition of recycle? Recycle means convert waste into reuse. So for the roots, I'm doing all of the black hair. I will not be adding that colored hair 
until I'm done um, with the entire ponytail. So I'm just adding every maybe three or four times I braid or just depending on how thick I want the braid to be, I'll add as needed. But yeah, that's pretty much the process. Braid until you reach the triangle, pull the triangle into the braid, and then braid some more until you get done. same process now I'm doing the triangles on the I'm still going in with the zigzag but then I choose once I'm done zigzagging to add those triangles um, facing the opposite direction so that they can meet each other and I'm also making sure that I start the triangles where the triangles are next to them so it can kind of be like equal for the most part Symmetric is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Same process, you're going in and doing the individual triangle braids. Don't add any hair, it's not necessary. front I did that same process throughout the entire head and then when I got to the front I added two regular braids in the center and then in the back I did a three-way triangle so I parted it um, triangles on both sides and then I did a braid in the middle I didn't think I was gonna do that and then I didn't realize that I wasn't recording. So sorry, I didn't show you the process of how I did that middle braid. But um, yeah, just the double triangles on each side with singular braids surrounding it. This is the finished look for the braids. And now we're going to go in and add the actual braiding hair. And you can tell me you love me. Say whatever you want, whenever you want. But if you're not going to prove the things you say to be true, you shouldn't say them at all because you see actions speak louder than words so now we're going to go in and add in that ombre hair again i'm just feeding it in the regular way i always do my feed in braids underhand and once i get to a point to where i want to add one of the human hair pieces i just do about two and a half inches and fold it and then braid it under until i've covered up that piece of hair that's hanging out um, hold the piece of hair out of your way you can use a clip it's more sanitary than the way I just did it up to you but uh, I like to add three pieces within each braid at different levels so they're not all you know stagnant in the same place and then I also like to do the ends that way so I'm literally braiding and adding the pieces in where I want them to fall. I did not split the um, human hair. A lot of times people will split it because they don't want it that full. But my client was okay with the density of the way the pieces were already separated. Um, I'm making sure that I tuck that black root into that blonde hair so that it doesn't show up. 
So you do want to take your time with this part so that it has more of an ombre, you know, feel. Versus just random black and blonde. So when I get to the end where it's just blonde, I am going to go ahead and cut off that black piece. Snip, 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 snip. Make sure you got some good scissors so it don't take you four times. Again, fold it in at like an inch for that piece. And then I braid all the way down to the end until I only have about an inch or half an inch left. And then I add that final ending blonde piece. If you have pieces sticking out, don't worry about that. You're going to go back in with the scissors to cut and clean it up. So again, cutting all the black off. That last piece I take, since it's so short, split it in half, fold it in the middle to give it a little bit more density. The struggle is real trying to record yourself. So yeah, you just braid it down enough for it to not unravel or be sticking out and then take the nail glue and a clip I don't like getting stuck to my hand so I use a clip and let that dry and that's pretty much the process for each of these braids once I do that I go in and I clean it up so I cut out any pieces that's just sticking out fuzzy all that good stuff Pretty much the process for this, guys. After about maybe 40 seconds, the glue is dry. Now I'm going in and cutting out the braiding hair. So the only thing that should be at the ends is the curly hair. None of the braiding hair should be sticking out. So once it dries, you go back in and cut off all of the synthetic hair. All right, so the finishing touches are to go ahead and mousse the braids, the roots, and the actual ends. Now I go in and pull apart these to give it more volume, so I'm just separating them. Cutting out any frizzes. Now we're dipping. I have my hot water. I don't have baby oil in this because the ends is human hair so it's already soft um, some of the pieces I dipped in the water and some I chose not to just to give um, different levels of density when you dip it in the water it does take away a little bit of the curl pattern so some of it is like chill and some of it is still you know in its natural curly fluffy state so but it doesn't damage the hair like it's not gonna melt or do anything by you dipping it in the hot water but you do want to be quick with it going in with the mousse for those pieces that I did not put hot water on and this is the finished look yes yeah swing your ponytail mm -hmm. what you trying to do Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the finished look, okay? 
ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment the blah. Comment down below what style you would like to see next. How you feel about this style, all that good stuff. Again, if you want to follow my motto, it's gonna be down below. Alright, if you want your hair did by me, make sure you follow me at made by Echo. All that music you heard in the background, that's me too. Follow at Shiny Echo, the singer, you know, not the hair braider. But uh yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and until next time, mwah, 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 mwah. Peace.